Yo, 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 Marlon King here, and today I want to talk about ultra widescreen monitors because I've just bought one. Check it out. This is the LG WN750, and um, I've been doing some research on this for quite a while now, and I decided to get this one because it was the right blend of quality. Um, so it's uh, got a nice resolution. Um, 3800 rather than a lot of them that have 2500 so I'm getting a lot more width there um, not only that it's an IPS screen which means it, color accuracy is going to be really good and to be honest with you, this was the main reason why I was in the market for a new monitor I've recently got back into my photography and I found that photo editing on my current screens they just aren't quite cutting it they're old kind of TN um, style monitors which it's got huge contrast ratio but unfortunately um, if I move my head up or down or left and right slightly um, the colors completely change which makes it very difficult to edit anyway let's unbox this puppy do not open here so this is a front let's actually crikey Whoa, that is quite a chunky beast. I think that's thicker than my dual monitor bar at the back. And now for the main revealing. Actually, I'm not sure how I can do this. There it is. That is pretty big actually. Let's build the stand first, maybe. Right, let's do this. What do we have here? The base. That's it, pretty thin. I know some people like to rip it. I like to be careful. That is pretty beast-like. Look at that. I can barely even close my hand around that. Okay. And that's quite a nice feature, actually. I don't know if you can see that. If you don't have a screwdriver, they've even put a little um, clip there so you can hand screw it. And then there is just a tiny rubber part there to stop it from scratching your desk and one on each end so fingers crossed I won't be left with any marks right power see might as well just open it now so I plan to plug it in okay boom the brick as they're commonly known, fair, fair size. As I said, it's kind of like the equivalent of a laptop one. Some cable management there, always nice to see. And that's nice, I've actually included a HDMI cable, which they didn't have to. I'm really happy they did because most people don't and that's quite frustrating, so. And some manuals and a CD without case. Um, Interesting, I normally give a slip sleeve, but no. Anyway, trying to work out how it's going to attach here now because um, can't see any screws. Oh. Oi. Oi. Wow. Check that bad boy out. Hell yeah. Whew. Right, now how the hell am I going to do this carefully? 
Um, I think I'm gonna have to put it on the floor. Right, just before I set it up, let's take a look at the back. So we've got, let's try and focus in on it and move my other shadow. Um, so we've got the power in there, HDMI's one and two, uh, display port. We've got um, the, I'm guessing that's the USB to the monitor and then two USB freeze. Um, I don't actually know whether this would sync in with your PC because I didn't see a USB cable with that so I'm not sure how that's going to work. Um, we've got headphone port and it looks like this switch here I at first I thought I might have to unscrew these to attach the monitor but uh, to the stand but it looks like this will just clip it in um, and then at the bottom here and there we go well that is the joystick here um, how you're going to be controlling the menu system on the monitor and some vents there tricky doing this one-handed I should probably do it two-handed but slides in there done Ooh. that is a little bit bigger than I expected <laughs> in a good way So this does have adjustable height and tilt. So uh, oh, this is nice, very nice. And of course, I'm gonna have to turn this off now and get it all plugged in because I'm too excited. <laughs> Just got the screen plugged in and it looks amazing for real um, yeah <laughs> obviously just had to do a little bit of cable management and stuff but um, this is this is going to be revolutionary for me let's just quickly take this sticker off carefully does it 39 watts now I'm getting this message come up um, you can't see it, but I'll quickly zoom in. So obviously, I currently have it set at my old resolution. <laughs> um, I really do need to get rid of my old um, speakers because I could do with this screen going back a bit further. At the moment, I need to be back here. <laughs> I've got an interesting message here saying make sure I'm using the supplied input cable. So I don't know whether that means my cable does not support this currently, which is weird because I've obviously got an extra long one. This one is not going to reach. Um, doesn't look to be anything special about that one. Whoa, this is so bright. I have to do my own channel so I don't copyright infringe. What's a good one to do? Oh. <laughs> oh man, this is, this is beautiful. And I probably need to be about here to view it properly. Now of course, because of the ratio I film this in, I'm not getting full screen. And I don't know whether I've done any videos that are in that ratio. But I think this is probably going to encourage me to film at uh, maybe 21 ratio rather than 16 by 9. Who knows? Anyway, look, I'm not sure what else to do in this video. I'm, I'm just so excited. I think I need to go away and just uh, view loads of stuff and get used to the colours on here. I probably need to calibrate my, my Windows colours to ensure that they're set up correctly for this monitor. But otherwise, I think this was a great purchase. And... Uh, I'll keep you updated on how I get on with it. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for future videos and have a great week. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.